I made a big mistake. Bring on with the S5 V8. This is the third video and in this video I'll show you what was done and uh, what, gonna, what we are going to do. So as you remember from the last video, we have put on the front grille, all the lights are in, the wings have been painted, bonnets been painted, bumpers been painted. So we've got the uh, RS front grille, we're just missing the little bit down here and uh, I've got a splitter to go uh, with it as well. But uh, apart from that, that has all been done. So the whole front has been completed now. So roof is staying gloss black or we're going to wrap it in carbon. I've not decided yet, but we need to take off all this wrap, all this remaining wrap. Uh, I've been working on the dent at the back from what you remember from the uh, previous video. Uh, there's, a, there's a dent here. Uh, that's okay because it's all getting painted anyway. And uh, some paints peeled when we were taking off the wrap. Uh, that's not an issue either. So the boot's been painted as well at the back. Uh, but we have started uh, taking the wrap off. It is coming off in pieces because it has been on for quite a long time. Uh, and the rear bumper has been painted as well. So we've not actually got a lot to do. Uh, we're just going to repair this dent. And we're going to prime it. And then we're going to paint the full car. So the full car is being painted now, though, great. It will last a lot longer. Wraps are good and they do last a lot of time. However, peeling them off is awful. Plus, when you also peel them off sometimes, they do come off with paint. So it not only is it expensive to get a wrap done, it's also more expensive to get a wrap fixed afterwards. But start with the quarter panel and then uh, the rest of the car will follow. So the window trim has actually been dechromed before as well. So as you can tell, the wrap here has shrunk. I don't know if you can, there you go, you can see now the wrap here has shrunk. And that's why it also gives it the black pack look. But I actually thought it was uh, standard. So currently, the other side of the Audi is a mess. This is what uh, we're currently working on doors off, uh, all the uh, seals and everything's off doors down here but this is the uh, quarter panel so it turned out it needed uh, more work than uh, I actually thought it would because the dent was like here and it actually went all the way in so just to get it nice and flat and smooth this is what just had to be done we'll primer this and then paint it and then I've, I've just got these two two doors to do and it'll be ready to put together and in this episode you'll see how it actually turned I have finished the doors in uh, this is now in clear coat uh, they are looking beautiful uh, the back side is done as well I've not been recording um, I've been ill so I've not been recording too much and this is the first day that uh, I did manage to um, work on the panel so I already had them in primer uh, I didn't record that part but I've already had them in primer so I got into them and then uh, put clear coat on them on both of them so we've got two doors so this is how the other side of the uh, car's looking I do have a little dent that needs to be filled in let's see if I can see it right here uh, you can see it on the camera as well. Let me angle it better. But yeah, right there. Uh, I need I need to fill that. And then this side will be ready. And then we can get can get it all together. And then uh, and then yeah, it's back on the road. And then we'll start doing the exhaust. 
and uh, we've got the splitter to fit on it as well and uh, you'll see the full result this is what currently the s5 looks like it's already for primer so the the whole side has been sanded down with uh, 320 grit and now it's ready for primer and then after primer we'll sand it up to 500 grit and then um, it'll be ready for paint yeah we'll do this side first and then the next side does it really matter if i'm painting the whole car or like this this is what uh, it looks like we're doing inserts as well it's the full full thing so as you remember it's wrapped gray nardo gray it's registered as nardo gray as well so i had to do the dent on the other side use a bit of filler and it needed a repaint anyway front's already been done by me before and the boot's been done by me as well so this is the side and then we can move over to the next side and get it painted tomorrow to come out and uh, I don't even think we'll need to even give this a polish if you look how nice it looks it looks flat so depending on on what you'd uh, want your finish to be you can get the factory orange peel but I wanted it to be flat worst case scenario I will do a bit of uh, wet sanding and then uh, buffing it out but no big deal at all and then we finish this side so we'll wait till tomorrow for this to properly cure and then we're on to the other side so i've just finished the uh, clear coat on the s5 and it came out really really nice uh, i'll show you now it honestly came out just like i wanted it so the s5 is nearly finished i made a big mistake with the paint what happened was i painted the two quarter panels and two of the doors and the color didn't match to the wings and the bonnet so what happened is when i had these wings painted and I had the bonnet painted before and I had the front bumper painted as well and then i decided to paint the doors and the quarter panel and what happened was that um i got my paint from two different places because the, the, they're about two weeks apart and i got my paint from two different places and this was a different shade of gray and this was a different shade of gray so i had to sand this down back uh, again uh, and then just paint it put clear over it and now it but that set me back about two three days to be fair i've not been recording uh, i just wanted to get it finished i just wanted to get it on the road and that is really it. I've got a few bits left to do and then it's practically 95% ready. Um, so the only thing I've got to do, so these mirror caps need to go black. The roof has already been, uh, well, already just about two minutes ago, it's been wrapped in black. Um, I need to put the trims back on and I'm waiting because I need to get some silicon for the back diffuser because this is carbon and when we took this off, it uh, basically had loads of silicon down here and that's how it was held on because you can't get any screws around the back. So um, that's how uh, it needs to be held on. And then other than that, it is, it's, it's finished. I do need to put the handles back on. I've got the fuel cap. And I've got these as well. These little bits, the, I think, the, oh, these. Basically, these long strips, I need to paint them black so it matches the rest, and then it is done. And then stick the bumper back on, and we are finished. I still need to take the tints off these lights, uh, just because I had to get um, different ones, tail lights here, because these are LEDs. So uh, we've um, upgraded them to LED lights at the back, and uh, I just need to take the tint off this one and we need to de-chrome that part right there and then we are done just a load of mess and then we have to clean it all up we still have the full miltech exhaust to go on so that needs to be put on and then we can see 
uh, how this sounds. I know it's going to sound amazing. Uh, I've had a Miltec exhaust on the, one of these before, and um, it is going to sound amazing. But that's tomorrow. And yeah, and that's it. And the car's ready. We are coming to the end of the S5, and I'm honestly so happy to have this project over and done with and not do really anything else with it the only thing i've got left i'm just wet sanding uh, the areas where i got a little bit of dust and the clear uh, but other than that it is um is beautiful so if we have a look i'm just wet sanding little areas uh this is from when my pad was but um just stuff I just to get random things out that might have fell into the clear and then we'll be ready to polish it up and it's good to go really uh, just a new MOT and it's good to go the Audi's finished and we've got the last thing on the list to do which is change the exhaust which I've previously bought uh, it's a 4 mil tech exhaust and uh, so I've got the exhaust out, or well, half of it out, and um, I'll show you how it sounds like now without the, uh, well, with half the exhaust still in. So the S5 is finally finished. Everything is done apart from a few little bits. I don't know what to think about them. But other than that, it is finished. So here's how it looks. 